and welcome to Uptown Kids. My name is Emily and this is a brand new series for Uptown. But before we get on to that, hands up here if you're excited that it's the Easter holidays. Yep, I definitely am. Days off school, a chance to hang out at home in our PJs, watch movies, eat chocolate, go visit some places. Hands up if you've had any Easter eggs yet. Mm, okay, so a few of you. Well, Easter is only a week away and we hope that you have some amazing things planned for your holidays. But we're also hoping that your holidays will include some time with us here at Uptown Kids because we have an amazing month planned for you. Because this month our series is called Community Garden. Hands up if you like gardening. Yeah, I'd imagine that a few of you have perhaps planted seeds and seen them grow, things like sunflowers and runner beans. Well, this series is all about how we can grow things from the ground up, how the best things in life don't grow instantly, but that they can take time and they can take hard work. See, this month's series is based around this idea of humility. See, humility is putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Now, C.S. Lewis, who wrote the Narnia books like The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, he said, humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. And we believe that it is one of the keys to a life lived well. In fact, that's exactly what Jesus models to us and it's what he asks us to do if we to say we want to follow him, if we say that we're his followers. So this Easter we're going to take a look at how Jesus put others first and how we can learn to do the same from him. But before we head over to the so-and-so show, let's stand up and sing, because Easter is a time when we celebrate just how much Jesus loves us, how God had a plan for us to have a relationship with him, and that Jesus chose to give his life so that we could have that relationship, how we can be forgiven, just as we were learning about last month. There's a passage in the Bible that says, God so loved the world that he gave us his one and only son, and anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. So let's stand to our feet wherever we are and learn our new song together and it's called Thank You God.
great dancing and singing. Now, so many of your generation want to stand out in the world. You want to make a difference, to leave a mark, to be seen and recognized. And the world tells us that we can do that by putting ourselves first, by focusing on who we are and what we want. But actually, one way to make a difference, to leave a mark, is to live differently to everyone else. Acts of kindness where we think about ourselves less, where we think about how others feel, what others need, what others want, they stand out and show people a different way, a way that reflects who Jesus is and how he lived life. Today is Palm Sunday. It's a day we remember Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem, where the crowds hailed him as their king. But unlike most kings we could imagine, he didn't arrive in splendour and grandeur. He arrived riding on a donkey, and then instead of feasting with royalty and the highest officials in the land, he ate with 12 fishermen and men who'd been rejected by others. And even then he got down onto the floor and did something amazing. So let's head over to the So and So Show to learn just how Jesus put others first and how we can learn to do the same. Hello, all you crazy so and so out there. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this is The, the so, so and So Show, which I'm sure you gathered already because I called you so and so and there was an intro package, and we had the title, and now I'm rambling. John, why the computer? Uh, oh, oh, I uh, started a little project in the neighborhood. Really? Do tell. It's a community garden. Oh, I've always wanted to do that! <laughs> What's a community garden? Can you remind me? Oh, uh, it's a garden that everyone in the community yeah. can use to grow flowers and fruits and vegetables and stuff. And Ooh, stuff. Yeah. So, you know, we can do that to share all that stuff with each other. And I'm about to find out what everyone's job assignment is. Okay, very cool. Yeah, but just uh, because I'm in charge doesn't mean I get to choose the job I want. I made mm -hmm. sure the assignments are totally random. Oh, that's very big of you. Well, thank you. Yeah, very much. okay. So when do we find out which job that we get? You've uh, got something in your digital inbox. How about now? <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, Brandon, you ready? Oh yeah, yeah. what job did I get? Once a week, mm -hmm. you will be a waterer. Waterer? Yeah. I'm the waterer? <laughs> yes, yes! I'm the water <laughs> What's a waterer? You water plants. Oh! That's still cool. <laughs> How about you? What job did you get? John? John, are you okay? No! What? What? What happened? You fainted huh. and passed out. I thought you were all wet. That's how long you've been out. What? Yeah. Oh. 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 You know, all I can remember is opening up my computer and looking at my email. Yeah? No! <laughs> what happened? Same thing. What? Yeah. You mean I opened my computer and I looked at my email and... <gasps> no! no! No, no, we're not doing this again. Okay. All right, what is going on? Oh. <sighs> okay, it says you got the job as fertilizer guy. What's so bad with that? Read. We will use all organic fertilizer. Organic fertilizer? Yeah. Manure? Oh. Cow patties? Uh-huh. <laughs> Dodo. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a little yucky, but it's what will help everyone else's plants grow. Whoa, you can't seriously be telling me I have to do this. Well, you said you wanted it to be random. No, 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 so I, I, I started this thing. Why do I have to do this job? It's gross. Okay, calm down. I, 
I'm sure we can get you some special gear and gloves and stuff to wear to do it. I reckon I'd be the waterer. I, 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 I would be a good waterer. I like water. But I'm the- No water. way! As head of this project, I refuse. You just refuse? Yes! Okay. Okay, listen. If you aren't willing to serve your community by spreading fertilizer, do do. Sure. <laughs> then I will swap jobs with you. Wait, what? what? Really? Yeah, I guess. Wait. I'm the waterer? Sure. Yes! A job for a leader! <gasps> I'm the waterer! <laughs> yeah. Happy? Yes. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Hey you two, what's up? Oh, not much. How about you, Kellen? Hey, why are you wet? Oh, Brandon just did something nice for me. Ah. Hey, you got a story for us? I, I do. Then take it away. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> well, today I have an amazing story about Jesus that I'd like to share. It gives us one of the most powerful examples of who Jesus is. But first, some backstory. For years, God's people had been waiting for a savior that God had promised, a Messiah, a king. When Jesus showed up performing miracles, the word got around that he was that promised king. So when Jesus came riding into Jerusalem on a day that we now call Palm Sunday, the people shouted out, Hosanna, and honored Jesus like he was king. But unlike most kings who want to come across all powerful and mighty, Jesus came to Jerusalem riding on the back of a donkey a little clue to the kind of king Jesus intended to be. And that's where our story picks up today. And here to help tell it are the kids from... Kids Perspective! Jesus and his disciples had gathered together to take part in the Jewish tradition of Passover. It was a meal they would eat together to remember how God freed them from slavery hundreds of years earlier. Peter, Pass me some of those bitter herbs, please. Here you go. Thank you. Can I have some too, Peter? Of course. Thank you, Peter. Of course. Now, when people would enter another person's house for a meal, a servant would often greet them. Honey! There were no doorbells back then, by the way. Ah, oh, so glad you can make it. Come in. Thank you for having me. Serve it. Yes, sir. Please prepare a guest for the feast. One of the duties of the house servant was to do something we're not familiar with. Clean the guest's feet. Oh my. Here goes. Gross. I mean, back then, people's feet would get dirty from sweat, dirt, and well, sometimes organic fertilizer. Needless to say, cleaning someone's feet was not something anyone rich or powerful would do. But when Jesus and his disciples had gathered together for the Passover feast, Jesus did something shocking. Uh, Peter, what's Jesus doing? I don't know. Looks like he's about to start cleaning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. That's weird. Yeah, Peter, say something. Lord, are are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, "You don't realize now what I am doing, but later on you will understand." But 
Lord, you'll never wash my feet. And Jesus responded, unless I wash you, you can't share life with me. Then Lord, wash all of me. Jesus told Peter that he was going to wash his feet. And then Jesus washed every disciple's feet in the room. A king got on the ground and washed their dirty, stinky feet. Afterwards, Jesus said, Do you understand what I have done for you? You call me Lord, and you're right. That is what I am. I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet. So you also should wash one another's feet. I have given you an example. You should do as I have done for you. Now, we don't know for sure how the disciples reacted when Jesus did this, but I bet it was something like, Whoa! The end. Give it up for our Kids Spective performers. Every time I hear this story, it blows my mind. Jesus, the Son of God, the Messiah, washed his disciples' feet. He had all the rights and all the power in heaven to demand that his disciples wash his feet, but he didn't. Instead, he showed his disciples that true leadership is humbly serving those around you, no matter who you are. That is an amazing story. Yeah, yeah, really uh, gets me thinking. <laughs> hey, glad I could help. Uh, thanks. See ya. So I got you thinking, huh? Yeah, I mean, Kellen's right. That story is mind-blowing. Jesus chose to serve his own followers hmm. and then told them to do the same? That, that, that is so upside down. I know what you mean. Nowadays, it seems like people in charge want to be served rather than serve. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe I can do something about that. I, I, I'm gonna let you be the waterer and I'll take the fertilizing job. You don't back. have to do that. No, 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 no. I want to lead by example and it's, it's the job I was given, so. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and get prepared while you ask the question. All right. Oh, you want me to do the thing by myself? Okay. Uh, reveal the question! When has someone put you first? Well, once when I was sick, my next door neighbor came over and mowed my lawn for me before he mowed his. Huh. I mean, that's a great example. Yeah. Uh, one time in school when I was younger, uh, somebody let me cut ahead of them in the lunch line so I could get the last piece of pizza. Oh, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. I'm not very humble when it comes to pizza. Yeah, but <laughs> you are when it comes to gardening. Well, I'm trying to be. You like my gardening outfit? <laughs> Hazmat suit. You know? uh, oh, and, and uh, clothespin. Okay. For all the fertilizer. <laughs> All right, well, that is, that's one way to do, do it. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Do, do it. Thank you. I did. Okay, that's all the time we have today. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was that's The So and So show. show. You sound way different. Uh, that's the price of power. <laughs> <laughs> all right, one more little song to go to sleep. Simple, simple little flower. You'll grow as tall as a tower With your roots that run so deep Birds will fly and shout a peep Simple, simple little flower One day you'll grow as tall as a tower Do you want to know what's really crazy? We can be like Jesus. We can make the decision every day to put aside what we want in order to show love to others. I'm not saying you need to wash your friend's feet, but you can figure out a way to be humble and give up what you want for others, a way where you put what they need ahead of you. It might be spending a few minutes extra helping a teacher clean up at school. It might mean helping whoever is at home to cook a meal or clean up after it. It might mean sharing something precious to you with your brother or sister so that they can join in the game. If you take time to look around you each day, you'll find tons of opportunities to live like Jesus and to put others first. Each one of us has been blessed with adults who take the time to put us first. It could have been a teacher, our parents, or someone in our family. 
This isn't an easy task, but nobody ever said following Jesus would be easy. So let's get into groups with the people where we are and answer that question. When has someone put you first? It could have been for your birthday, a month ago at school, or today on your drive to church. When has someone put you first? Great discussion. Our memory verse for this month reminds us to follow Jesus and the example that he set us. It says this, don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. And that's found in a letter in the New Testament called Philippians in chapter 2, verse 3. So pause the video here and get your Bibles out. Find the verse, highlight it and say it out loud together. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. Well, let's pray together. Dear God, this was such an amazing act of humility that Jesus showed to his friends. Please help us to choose humility and to choose to put others first, just like Jesus did. Help us show others that they're important to us by the way that we treat them. Give us the strength to follow your way because we know that we can trust you no matter what. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, for those of us in the room, we'll be heading to do some craft and games. And for those of you online, well, we'll see you next week, either here online or hopefully in person. After all, it's going to be Easter Sunday next week and we promise you, you're going to want to be here in person. It is going to be an amazing one.